Yeah. When you look at the winter and summer solstice, uh, when you go to in Zaluelanga in Nelspruit, yeah. uh, you the the sun on the twenty or on the twenty first of December, uh, no, no, of January. It, the 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 sun is between the two stones that mark the winter solstice, right in yeah. in in June. And yeah. and in Egypt, that's not when you have the winter solstice. What marks the winter solstice in Egypt is on the twenty second of December, when because I mean uh, South Africa on the twenty during the winter solstice has its shortest day. South Africa has its shortest day. On the on the twenty first of January, roughly, right? And Egypt has its has its longest day on the same on the same day, and on the twenty second of December, twenty twenty one, Egypt will have its shortest day. South Africa will have its longest day. So we well, the, well, the, well, can, I, can I just simplify it like this so 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 everyone can understand? No, no, you no, you need to answer that question, and then I wanna I wanna okay. go to. Uh, just answer that question, so I want to go to the villager. If you can answer that yeah, question. Okay. Uh, don't go into other things. Just explain why uh, on the 22nd of December this year, 2021, Egypt will have its shortest day, and we will have yeah. our longest day, yet at the, okay. at the exact same time. And and Egypt will be in summer, we will, or in winter, will be in, in summer. Basically, you need to explain okay. what happens to the... What happens to the sun? Where is the sun there? Okay, I think that this, this, this explanation would be using numbers for this. Let's just say the blade is a uh, hundred uh, meters in diameter, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, let's just say the blade is a uh, hundred diameter. So yeah. that means the radius will be 50, 50 centimeters, right? Yep. Exactly. So my position of the sun is always on the 25 centimeter mark of the blade, not 50 percent, no, not not 50. So uh, let me just say, for a moment, we take the sun and pause it at that at that at that uh, 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 position, right? At 25 uh, uh, centimeters. So that means you, you cut the, the, the radius in half, right? Did All right. Yeah. Let, 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 let us just move the sun then because it, it confuses everyone. Mm -hmm. let, let us move the plate from the center. Rotate the plate. Do you understand? Oh, so the plate is moving now. Ooh. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, okay. yeah, now, yeah, now it's moving. I'm not saying it's moving, but just, just, just to make things simpler. No, no. Just make it, things simpler. You, Okay. Let's, uh, make let's, 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 make, let's, let's make the plate move. No, hold on so a second. The, the, sun, the sun is, is the torch is in, is, is that 25, uh, 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 is, is that, we will cut the radius in half. That's where the sun is, right? And then we're rotating the plate, right? And then, we, we, at, at this time, we're letting half the plate. All the time, the, the plate is half lit. Do you understand? Okay. And then, yeah, and then, and then let us then put, put, put the back back uh, the left of the plate. I hope I hope you guys now understand my, my understanding of how, of how the sun moves around the plate. Yeah, yeah. Is that twenty five diameter? Is, is, is that twenty five uh, 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 centimeters? Mm -hmm. The sun is that twenty five centimeters in mm -hmm. a in a hundred diameter plate, right? Okay. Then so it's moving a, a, on a quarter of the. Of the planet, okay. Exactly. Yeah. It, 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 exactly. So mm -hmm. uh, uh, we lift it up in such a way that it it, 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 it lights up fifty percent. Well, but this is not the position. This is not always the position. Well, it, it moves from the north uh, 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 to the south uh, in winter. That, that is why it's possible for Egypt and in South Africa to have the shortest day and the longest day. Egypt has the longest day and South Africa to have the shortest day. Because mm -hmm. let me just say, oh, is that twenty five percent right? And then in summer, uh, it it moves a bit to thirty five percent. 
Okay. Hold on. Let me let me let me hold on. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, hold on a second. Now, nah, because yeah, you, you're going around in circles. Uh, ways now, right on the twenty second of December. Show us where is the sun on the plate on the twenty second of December when Egypt has uh at as its, its shortest day and South Africa has its longest day. Yet the time zone is exactly the same. Hold on. The time zone is exactly the same. It's where tell us where the position of the sun and explain to us how that would make sense. The position of sun of the sun would make would illuminate the time zone exactly the same for both sides, but the when, other side is the longest day, the other side is, yeah. with your explanations and how you keep changing about the sun uh, okay we'll rotate the plate and stop the plate the problem with your explanations why they are not making sense you've not laid the foundation in the beginning I asked you to lay the foundation by explaining the pattern that the sun follows on a flat surface and you all you've said is the sun moves in a circular form around the edges of the plate Right, you've not so the pattern of the sun, as you've explained it, does not address the whole matter of of the season. It doesn't explain it because the way you put it, the way you've explained it, the sun, if it's if it's because the the the, the pattern that you've told us takes twenty four hours, right, around the the sun, so. If things were like that, we would not have seasons. Because there is no the, the part of a bar because why from from a spherical point of view, why we have seasons is the sun when it, it rotates it revolves around the sun, it moves in a elliptical pattern where the other side of the of the planet would be much further from the sun. Yeah. But so, but no, no. I'm talking about in a spherical, from a spherical perspective. But from the flat Earth, we we have not because remember, winter is all about the how far the sun is from the Earth. That's all it is. The closer it is, then we have summer. It gets hotter, and and the vegetation gets enough sunlight, and the vegetation can grow. So. The hands I had asked you. So I, I'll give you. I want to give uh, other people a chance. Uh, so you need to. Yeah. I'll give you during that time. Uh, the villager just invited you to speak. You can come back, and anybody that wants to talk, 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 you can put your hand up, and then you can add your speaker. So in the meantime, just gather your thoughts about the the pattern of the sun, and how is it that we have winter summer and also i want you to explain to me why in uh do you know the fort tracker monument no okay all right um okay i don't know yeah no i've never seen it okay all right so basically at the fort tracker monument they've copied the the ancient african practice of of uh, observing the, the 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 sun or the patterns of the sun, where the sun yeah. shines at a specific point. Uh, so if you go on the sixteenth of December, at the 
Fort Rekel Monument. The sun shines on the shrine that they put there. It only happens once a year, right? It takes 12 months for that to happen. They copied that from, uh, obviously, Fort Rekel is just, was just born yesterday. The oldest, uh, in, the oldest example of that kind of uh, structure being erected where the sun uh, would shine at a certain point at a given time of the year only once yeah. in 12 months that's in Inzalo Elang and Nelspring and then in oh, Egypt yeah. on the 22nd of December which is the winter solstice that side at Karnak Temple the sun will be shining through the Holy of Holies of the Temple that only happens once yeah. a year so with the flat earth there's a lot that you need to explain, so I'll just give you that chance to uh, to okay, think about okay. that. You know what? Let, let, yeah. me, let, let me just say this. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I want you to go think about it. I want you to go think about it. Just okay, five yes, minutes or, or so, yeah. Then we're going to give other people a chance. All right. Okay, yes, Matunza. Yes, sir. Yeah, I think also the, the Mayan pyramids, which really resembles our our pyramid yes they also have a similar kind of uh, setup in terms of the longest mm. day the sunset absolutely you know mm. it's actually all mm. that's true so so so, so th that was what one one thing but i think the other the, the other missing part uh, the elliptical rotation does does the sun follow the same elliptical you know, where it's shorter on the one side and longer on the other side. You know, yeah, that, that was just something I wanted to contribute. All right. Okay. So before Kululego, uh, just uh, take some time and think about uh, that question. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are having a bribe rise on Sunday. Uh, the discussion of today's topic is the flat earth debate so uh this this was sparked by a debate that um took place here on twitter there is a thread where uh people were full of fire and coming at each other talking about the flat earth and why the earth is flat and the others saying no but it's not and it looks like it has become a very popular um movement I have opinions on why, where it comes from and why it's resurfacing. Anybody that knows history knows that the, the oldest uh, claim that the earth was flat came from medieval Europeans uh, during the time when Europe was in the Dark Ages. And they believed that the, the earth was the center of the universe and that the earth was flat. And Galile uh, I think it was Galileo who had studied uh, the ancient African scripts that speak on astronomy because astronomy uh, um, as a study or a thought uh, originated in Africa. The oldest calendar was found in Africa. Uh, the ol oldest stone structure is in South Africa the oldest stone astronomical structure, stone calendar, was found in South Africa. And the older than Stonehenge, older than Naptar player in Egypt, older than any other structure that exists. And obviously in the order of the ones that people know, Inzalo Elanga is the oldest of all. And followed by Naptar player in Egypt uh, is much older than Stonehenge and Stonehenge then being probably the, the last old one. And uh, there's even a, there's a book by a European wrote a book called The, the Black Builders of Stonehenge. So, uh, during the winter solstice, 22nd December, uh, some of, I'll be in Egypt looking at Karnak Temple and observing the sun being reborn and and marvel at that, you know? 
uh, Europeans will be in Stonehenge taking pictures while they see the sun shining between the two stone pillars. So uh, astronomy is very old, very, very, very ancient before there was writing. So um, then very recently, uh, the last group of people to come into come into contact with scientific knowledge were the the Europeans, uh, excluding the Greeks and the Romans. The Greeks and the Romans were the first Europeans to learn about astronomy. Obviously, they had learned it in Egypt, amongst the Bantu people, you know. And yes, the Egyptians were Bantu. Uh, anyone that wants to bring that debate, we can have it next week. <laughs> yeah so so yeah so that's the debate and it has resurfaced the first time i saw it uh, as a friend of mine uh who brought it up on facebook is a big fan of the flat earth theory and he tagged us on one facebook post about three years ago i watched the documentary i didn't finish it because the first uh, sections or portions of the documentary um was quite flawed mathematically scientifically i did calculations and and all that stuff and they were making claims about the aperture of the earth if if at a certain distance and whatnot and whatnot using the circumference of this of the earth which modern scientists have accepted as the circumference of the earth so yeah and uh, so anybody that wants to come in we don't want to make it a one-man show uh, let's um, let's have a discussion anybody and we are we are we are not afraid to be proven wrong uh, some of us love to be proven wrong uh, we hate all cults we hate uh, belonging to a cult uh, people that belong to a cult do not want their belief system to be questioned they get defensive and emotional so but we are we consider ourselves scholars and progressive people so we we love to hear to engage uh, opposition. Uh, myself, I am a, anybody that knows me. I am I'm all about I'm a I'm a big history head, if I can put it like that. And when I read books, I also read uh, because most books, when when they're written, there are people that issue papers as a critic against that book. I also read those. Why? Because I'm not emotional. I can take time and read uh, the opposition. So why? Because I'm all about, you know, growing in knowledge. I'm always ready to let go of old knowledge. So yeah, if uh, there's anybody else, anybody else, you can just put up your hand and speak. Uh, if there's no one else, I will go back to the two speakers. And perhaps if Nkululego has thought about why specifically the sun shines through Karnak Temple in Egypt on only on the 22nd of December 2021 and not on other days of the year. You, if you have thought about the answer, you can talk to us. Yes, sir, you may speak. Yeah, no. You know what? I think the issue that we are having, I have a perfect picture on my head how this works, and then, but I just can't put it into words. No, okay. I think the best way to do this, I think the best way to do this is, hmm. I, would, I, I, I would try to send you, maybe now, Okay. I'll, 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 I'll try to send you a, 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 a maybe a picture, mm -hmm. or maybe a short clip, I don't know, Yeah. of, of how it works, but I, I just can't put it into words, but I, I have it perfectly in my head, and right. I can see it, and it works that way, for me, at least, at least when I saw it there, because, you know, there are a lot of things that does, doesn't make sense to me, how, 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 how does water, uh, get a time to, to, to a ball, you know, and all that stuff. Uh, okay. Yeah, I that's, think that's the, very... I think, I, think, I, think, I, think, I think the best way is to maybe uh, 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 send it to you. Maybe, maybe send, send, send a small clip to you or, 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 or send pictures, I don't know. What, whatever I find, I'll just send it to you. But when they... Because when, when, when like... At some point in my life, I, only, I, I, I grew up believing that the, the, the earth was, was round. But, but when I started looking at the evidence, because even there was a pilot, 
Okay, let him let him let him let him ask the question about the pilot. Let him ask the question about the pilot, yeah. For example, if 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 the earth is moving from east to west, right? A flight from London uh to the US uh will either be shorter or long. And then a flight from the US to 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 London will will either be be shorter or longer if the earth was moving. But this flight Ah, uh, no, it's flights are never... It, 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 it just doesn't make sense. Because if, if the earth is moving, really, just think about it. Mm. If, 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 if you are moving south, and I'm moving north. Uh-huh. The flights are never exactly the same time. May I ask, why is it that when you, when you drink water, it goes to your feet? Why does everything go down? Because 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 there's a split. Everything has weight. What is, what is weight? When you, wait, you cannot say wait. You cannot say there's weight if you don't believe in gravity. The people that told you about weight, the word weight, the term, the concept of weight comes from gravity. You cannot dismiss gravity and accept weight. Doesn't work that way. Well, you can't have well, it both well, ways. <laughs> well, well, actually, you, you, you can. Nah, you can't. You Co- can't. Considering, considering that your, your entire life, your entire life, nothing flies without energy. Or I don't know, maybe that's the right word. But everything has been going that if you throw the ball up, it will go down. Not because of gravity. Because they had to split. You can't avoid it. No, no, no. Well, you, 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 is there any man who has walked of earth? Like how? Like walking to the edge of it. Is there anyone who has walked off the edge of that plate and then disappeared? What? So why where, why didn't they reach the end? Why didn't they reach the end? Yeah, I'm going there. I'm going there. Okay. And, and they, they found out that I, for, I forgot the general's name. But they kept on crashing to, to the dome because they, they said that the earth has a dome. Meaning it, it's flat and then we are covered by a dome. <laughs> my, my, my understanding is that. Covered by a dome? Has ever and showed then, us that wall. And, yeah. and then, if, if you go, if, if you go to the end, you reach, uh, you reach the dome. Okay. The... All right. Nkululek, yeah. Mister Nkululek. You see, what you've just said is a speculation. There's no one that has showed us any wall. If they crashed, what did what did they crash in? In an aeroplane? What were they traveling in that they crashed in? There were even aeroplanes. In and, fact, a few of them came back. And they came back. Where is the report? Where can we find the report around that? Well, I don't know. Ah, <laughs> nah, <laughs> bro. Uh, uh. <laughs> no, 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 no. You get if you if you bring up a claim that a certain scientist has done one, two, three. There's no report. It's it's all conspiracy theory. It's not. A, it's not a. It's not something we can we can even consider to put well, on the but, table. But, you know, the thing, the, the, but the most, but 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 truth be told, uh, you know what? Most of the things are called conspiracies. In the past, I actually 
actually coming true. Ah, no, not, not every. The, the, fact of, uh, the fact of the matter is, the fact of the matter is, we don't uh, control information. We nah. get told what to believe. Mm. And why. Yeah, but that's that's not the you, point. You let me say, let, let me. Know, you can say no. I went to university. I went to this. this but the, the fact of the matter is, those who are in power control knowledge. No, no, no. Let me, let, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me, let me, let me, let me hold you. Let me. We have friends enough to to evaluate the information. That exactly. We so, so hold on. Let me, let me explain something to you. Um, when you are trained as a, to think as like a scholar, it's not about yeah. whether the information is true or false. That's not what we are discussing here. What we, yeah. the, 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 the whole community of scholarship is not whether, because remember, if they say that the oldest uh, human being fossil was found in, in South Africa, and therefore the oldest is in South, in South Africa, tomorrow they'll find it in Uganda, you know. Yeah. When we accept it, we're saying that's the evidence so far and we analyze the information so it's not about who controls but information but hold, but on, but hold, hold on hold hold on hold on hold on no 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 speak for yourself and you get speak told. for yourself it's speak for yourself this is the information you should believe no let me let me explain something to you um no, no, wait, 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 I'm still talking. Uh, hold on. You know, that's a study too. Uh, you are, you are very uh, disorderly. So, the, if, if you bring us a theory and it doesn't make sense to us, if we, because uh, uh, being being a scholar is all about if someone puts in front of you and someone says one two three four five, if you cannot answer questions around it, it's already failed. It doesn't matter who controls what. The point is, if you say so and so uh, attacked you on the sixteenth of December, I was like, okay, fine, and then we get that person, and that person comes with a boarding pass and they prove to us that they were out of the country they show us all the bookings and everything they were not yet they show us evidence that they were actually in another country then there's dismissed there's not a question of who controls information and all that if, if we were to take that attitude then why are we even having a discussion because we should all just fold our arms and lie down because uh, we are we are uh, controlled by gods who control information that are, have a brain that is of a different make from us. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, I will bring you back. You can put your hand up, but uh, let us give other people a chance. Uh, the first person was the villager, then it was, do we have a president? And then after that is Philly. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are discussing the flat earth debate. And the main question is, if the earth is flat, please explain to us why we have day and night, why we have seasons, why it's 1714 in South Africa in Johannesburg today, and it's 1714 in Cairo today, right now as we speak, but it's winter in Cairo and it's summer in South Africa. Uh, the villager. Thanks, guys. Uh, Peace. Actually, I just joined this uh, discussion in the middle, so I missed a lot of things. But I joined in when people was busy doing the bed there. So I just have a question. All right. Maybe we can just have a one-on-one -on -one type of question and answer with the Kululev. So, Nkululebo, I didn't get, so what is the uh, shape of the sun then? Let's start. <laughs> okay, uh, he's not a speaker right now. Um, oh, okay. Because, well, he, because the thing is, he... I just wanted his understanding so that we can have a one-on-one -on -one type of two minutes 
All right, okay. Senate, that's what that land has been when it comes to form of previous. All right, okay. Let me, uh, let me give him uh, five minutes to answer your question okay. so that we can also give other people a chance. So, okay, then I'll talk about uh, So, when I come back, then when I one on one, we'll do that. Yeah. You yeah, have added him. I'm adding him, yes. Well, he, oh, okay. The shape of the yes, sun, the moon. shape. The shape of the sun, the shape of the moon, yeah. Yeah, and then the shape of the moon. So the moon is also round. Oh, and yeah. then, okay, let me go on with other uh, planets like the Jupiters and uh, Saturns and so forth. So, also, I'm, I'm sure you're going to say that. Uh, well, well, first of all, we have to be certain. What are the, the exact those are stars? Right, because the thing is, what I want to get to is that uh, if those ones are around or spherical in shape, how come then this only have then is flat? Mm -hmm. Well, well, uh, well, well can, I, can I just ask you this question? Okay, how is it possible that we know how Jupiter is? We have cameras showing Jupiter, we have cameras showing uh, Saturn, Mars, and all that, but we don't have a camera pointing at Earth. How? There, there are a lot of evidence that shows that they have this. What, what, what type of evidence? That, that's the evidence I want. It's the same, it's the same evidence that you're telling me that they show that the Jupiter is round, the moon is round. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, 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 so how come then the only Earth is the one which is flat? Well, 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 what would you say that, that is evidence? When you say that you have evidence, that's what they showed you, right? You say you you, you saw that, 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 then how come they don't show you that? Because it would be easy. They would, they would just take the camera and, and just turn it back into it. To, uh, just turn it back to us. And then we will see us. We know Satan. And in fact, you know, you know, most of the things are just CGI. Even, 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 even the pictures of the earth that, that you have, 2009 picture is different, 2006 picture is different. Some pictures show more than they should on 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 on, on the round surface. Uh, some pictures show less, you know. Meaning, so it means all this is CGI. You've never actually seen a picture. So I heard you talking. Yeah. I heard you talking about the North Pole and the South Pole because if yeah. only at this analysis, then you should have top to bottom, left and right. Why are you talking about the South Pole and the North Pole? Well, well, well. Uh, of course, you should have left and right. Uh, of so course, English uh, language. So, uh, actually, I should use center. Yeah, then the center. Yeah, you should center. have top, You should have left and right top of the analysis. You should then talk about the north, the south pole, and so forth. Then. All right. No, two more minutes. Two more minutes, gentlemen. Two more minutes. Okay. No. No. no I mean, of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. You're correct. Maybe, maybe my use of language there was wrong. I should have uh, I should have used center and diameter. It's wrong. End of the blade is diameter. Uh, 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 center of the blade is it, 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 the center. Yeah, the going forward then is left and right to bottom. Okay, no, no, thanks. I just wanted to <laughs> just get that. No, thanks. All right, okay, thank you, that. gentlemen. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, we're gonna go to. Do we have a president? So the big question for the flat earthers is they need to explain to us uh, if the earth is flat, what is the pattern of the movement? Okay. We don't know if all flat earthers uh, have the same doctrine, you know, because you might be surprised that some uh, might not believe in the same theories. But so far, the flat earthers that have spoken have said that the earth does not move. The sun moves um uh, around or whatever pattern around uh, according to guru lego it moves in a circular form around the earth and he hasn't answered the re how that movement would give us the seasons so if there's a flat earther with us they can if they can please explain what is the pattern what is the movement pattern of the earth does it move in zigzag, uh, east to west, circular, anti-clockwise, clockwise? What is the pattern and why you explain the pattern 
you need to please explain to us the seasons, how we have the seasons. So, right, uh, we'll then uh, open for Money Bag Grow. Talk to us. Money Bag Grow. Are you with us? Uh, okay. All right. Uh, looks like he's not here. Hello. Hola. All right. I've had questions myself. Okay, that's good. Questions are good. Uh, my question was mainly the north side of the, the planet. Why do they not get sunlight in the summertime? All right. Oh, oh, that's all. Is that it for you? From you? stuff okay so the whole concept of why the sun is is not or, or, or you have sunlight throughout like the last good they don't make it like two three hours of sun in the summertime yeah yeah stuff like yeah yeah so according to yeah in the summertime or winter time yeah it doesn't matter it doesn't matter You want to answer? No, no, no. That's not. Is that? Yeah. Hold on. Um, is that question for flat earthers or for 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 spherical Earth? Okay. All right. Kululego, tell us. You want to answer that first? Okay. Go ahead. Just here to learn. Yeah. You know what? I think the first example I'm going to make again is with a uh, 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 diameter. Uh, with a plate, uh, with a diameter of a uh, hundred meters, sorry, a hundred centimeters, right? And then the sun is at twenty-five centimeters, right? Just moving along the 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 the, the twenty-five centimeter line, right? Depending on whether it's summer or winter. For example, right? Uh, North. Uh, let me say USA, Alaska. Alaska. Uh, Maybe it's at 45 centimeters, right? So it's 45, 40 centimeters. And then uh, the sun is moving at 25, right? But when it's, when, when it's summer uh, in the USA, uh, in the northern side of, of, of the earth, Thanks, Nkululego. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you still are always real explanations here. Yeah. All right. Um, according to the spherical uh, Earth theory, is that the, the Earth rotates at a tilted axis relative to the sun. So if it's, if it's tilted towards, uh, towards the sun, it gets... It gets sunlight um, when it's when it's facing the sun and when it's at the top. Where let's say if it was facing, it was not tilted, it would be away from the sun, and it would be dark, 
but if it's tilted uh, towards the sun, the light arrives, it, it, it actually illuminates the northern part. And that, if, that's, if, if what they're saying is true, that explanation does make sense to me. Because if you, if you do tilt it, um, it will illuminate a portion as well. The sun rays will touch up the, the top part, not uh, obviously not the whole part, but the top part, yeah. All right, uh, now let's take it to Philly. Philly, Philly. Ish, Philly. You came, you, came bit, you came a bit early. I came I, a bit early. I was You're still, still listening. Still doing push ups. Yeah, I was still <laughs> Warming up. Doing push -ups. <laughs> Warming up. No, rolling up your sleeves. <laughs> I, I was rolling up my sleeves. All right, you know, all right. I shared some stuff because you guys are pressing me because I. Lot. Yeah. Like he's alone here trying to defend Power to him, you know? Power to him. You guys are a bit unfair in the way that you're pressuring him because you're using, um, I mean, whatever points uh, you raise against him, they are all based on this other theory, the spherical on Earth theory. And so, like, I was just listening. I'm like, that's not fair. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. I'm listening. Um, I don't know much also, but it's, it's something that has interested me for a while. Um, yeah. I can't say that I'm a flat earther or I believe in the spherical earth. Um, right. but, uh, it, it interests me to, to, hear, to hear the different sides because there's usually some pretty convincing arguments on both sides, just that with um, the spherical earth theory, uh, it's been widely accepted and we just we just take it as it is. They just tell us we've done research and this is what we found, and we don't truly have, uh, I would say, real tangible evidence. Of that, but what they tell us, we say, yeah, we believe it because they told us they did the research and they are yeah. the big people. They are the big. We just take it as it is. Yeah. The yeah. same way that you were pressuring Kulego, some of the things that you call evidence that are in books that are in the, you know, the packaged information that taken school is again things that were said by people but not evidence of stuff that you have proven yourself and so anything that is brought up here whether whatever he says if he thinks this is what he believes it is mm. it's as good as whatever you say you believe and you can or because in school they taught me this or this is what the book is yeah. then you would need to prove evidence yourself you would also need to, to put something forward where you can say no this is something that I have proven myself but for as long as you're quoting a book that was written by someone else that could have been lying, uh, I mean, even scientists themselves, they, they research today and they find this and they do further research and they find out oh, it was wrong. But, you know, we believe them all along. So, uh, it's just fair in, in taking you know, different opinions uh, of different people. Because it is something quite interesting. Yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Philly. Um, the discussion is the flat earth debate. Uh, well, uh, what I would say is, well, uh, well yeah, go just a second, just a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Um, yeah, so basically, what I'm saying is, we are, if you if you follow the approach that I'm bringing, I am not saying, um, that side is correct or that side is correct. So when I look at the two different views, the one that really doesn't make sense to me is the flat earth one. So hence the questions I'm asking. And so, because it, when I look at the, whatever the spherical theory that they have, um, the explanations do make sense to me. So at the end of the day, it's all about what you present. Does one plus one add to two, you know? So that's basically at the end of the day, doing a study is all about trying to make sense of what you are, you are reading or what you are hearing. You know what I'm saying? Because like, if, if I were to, there's a lot of things that I, I, I would, I would read and I would say, but that doesn't make sense because of one, two, three, you know? So, hence, 
the whole time here, I've been focusing on asking questions. Because if you... Can I ask you a question, Masoni? Go ahead. Um, you seem to be a very rational person. Like you're saying, um, you like to observe evidence of the things that you're taught and what it makes sense to you, that's what you take. So with the spherical Earth theory, since uh, it's the one that makes the most sense, uh, one of the, the beliefs is that the Earth is moving or the Earth is spinning. Okay. Yeah. This one makes sense to you. This makes sense to you how? All right. Okay, good question. So now, um, if, you, if you follow the time zone, right? For example, right now, uh, in South Africa, it's 1731. And in Egypt, which is in the Northern Hemisphere, it's 1731. So we are on the same longitudinal line. So if I take a, a ball or any, yeah, or any spherical shape and I face it towards me and I shine a light, that light will illuminate that side of the sphere from the top to the bottom but every the side which is on the on the opposite end would not be illuminated it would be completely dark so as it rotates the light hence the time the sun would rise at the same time in Egypt and in South Africa because they are on the same line on the so-called sphere. So that is the first part in terms of the, your 24-hour season of day and night. Because if the sun is still and, and the sphere is moving... Um, uh, hold on a second. I'm getting distracted. Uh, money back, bro. Please, uh, please mute your mic. I think you are cooking there and it's distracting... Yeah, it's distracting. Thanks. So, yeah. So, when it's moving like that. So, that's the first part. And then the second part is uh, when I look at the, the whole part of the seasons, right? When when the, the, the sun revolving, I mean, the earth revolving around the sun while uh, rotating around its axis. So, in a, in a sort of a, the way they've explained it, elliptical pattern. So when it's further from, from, from the, from the, uh, from the sun, then we get our winter because it's moving further. And then when it, 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 it gets to, to the other, to, uh, we wait at the top part of the ecliptical, I'm trying to <laughs> uh, paint a picture. So it gets closer to the sun in what winter? Or, or, yeah, in summer, because we are closer to the sun, therefore we have summer. So the whole thing of the cycle, generally a cycle would make sense to me if something moves in a, in a more cyclical pattern. Because it, it always ends at the same spot at the same time, every time. So just looking at the 24 hours alone, that just makes sense to me why we would have the same time in Egypt and South Africa because they are on the same longitudinal line and everyone on the same longitudinal line is at the same time zone basically and so it just makes sense in terms of that but if hence I asked about the, the flat earth theory what pattern does the earth the sun move in if the earth is still is not moving what pattern does it move in so that every part on the same longitudinal line is on the same time zone, whether it's in the north or the south? And hence the question. And Kululego, just a second, uh, Kululego, what he explains is that he used the scenario of the torch moving in a circular pattern around the, the, the earth, around the edges of the earth. And that does not give you a same time zone uh, in the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. So that's the challenge. So that problems the equator kind of. Uh, bigger problem? Yeah, phase between the 
between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn, like in that yeah. area. Yeah, yeah, can, can we just take a picture? So, I don't know if, if, if you can also, that's exactly what I'm trying to explain. What are you trying to explain? I, I shared the picture, and that wasn't yeah. really what I was asking about, but I shared the picture anyway. I shared a picture, yeah. Yeah. Just to answer some of the basic questions. That's like, much that, that, that is like exactly what I'm trying to explain. If you like, pick it up by the spelling, that is exactly what I'm trying to explain. I wasn't even asking about like the shifting closer to the sun or further away from the sun. I was asking about the spinning. Like, yes, that's what I'm saying. Oh, the spinning. Okay, hold on. Okay. And Kulilego. Just a second. Kulilego. Kulilego. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If I may come in. Hold on. My host. If I may come in. Yeah. A lot of people are aware of Pearl Harbor attack, right? Okay. When you spread the map of the earth, uh, if, if the earth is real, it's black, right? For, 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 for Pearl Harbor attack to have happened in Hawaii, you would have had to flow from Japan all over Europe and Africa to go and attack uh, Hawaii. But it did not happen that way. So those are just some of the things, the smaller things, that can uh, demystify some of these things. The, the Chinese um, cargo ships that goes directly from China to America, they, they don't come all the way from the front, the, the West East India Company with the route. They go the other way around. So, so as, as we're speaking some of these things, let's just put the practicality on it. Mm -hmm. From what I'm here, you can actually see, like, Spain and Africa. I've not been to either. I've not been to either place, but I heard you can see one continent to another. And then I just found out literally, like, last week that Alaska and Asia is only about 55 miles apart from each other also. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But it makes you think the world is super small also. Or the lightning is just super big. It's kind of weird. Yeah. All right. Uh, I just want to go to to Philly's uh, picture. I just want to go to Philly's. Uh, can I just make a small contribution, please? All right. I just want to ask something. Okay. In this point, I am not a plant ether, but I have questions about the globe ether, okay. which I'm I'm, I'm I'm being different between the two. Okay. So let's say we put a a cannon. Yeah. 45 degrees up. Yeah. Then we fire the cannon. Yeah. It goes up. Let's say it goes 100 meters up. Yeah. Does it come back to the same point where we, we have the projectile is, is, is left? Obviously not. It doesn't come to the same projectile. Yeah. It does happen. So it comes to the same, to the same position. If you yeah, throw a lot of people that take a, a camera out the atmosphere, they bring it right back to the same atmosphere. It's kind of weird how that happens. No, 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 hold okay. on. So you say you fire a cannon, out. you fire a cannon, and it shoots up. Okay, let's, 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 let's do something. Let's, oh, you're talking about like a missing, Anything, any projectile that you can, you can throw at 45 degrees up. Yeah. Let's say I, I throw a ball up. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It comes back to exactly where I threw it from, isn't it? It comes, it comes back to you. That would be 90 degrees, not 45. Uh, just just sorry, sorry, 90 degrees. Uh, back oh, my goodness. Okay, I was trying to figure that one out. Okay. Pardon me, the degrees have lost me. The 90 degrees, 90 degrees. Yeah, yeah. So, and the first half, the 90 degrees are. The speed at which you throw the projectile up is very little. And how far, how far up it goes? It goes, yes? Yeah, theoretically. I fired a gun in front of my head. There's never come back in exactly in front of the yeah. So, so you, you you cannot say it comes exactly. There. Yeah, theoretically, so, yeah, it's it's, 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 it's not not in practice. In the area. Mm. Then, right. we, then we need to deal with projectile in terms of how far a projectile goes so it's up. The way the the distance at, 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 at why it goes up and how it comes down. So, it, 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 right. I think it will never come back. It, 
Okay, Matunza, Matunza, let him, let him, let him get to his question. Let him get to his question. I want to understand the question. Yeah. So my thinking is, if I throw a ball up, yeah, it comes back to the position, uh, right? Maybe, because yeah. Theoretically. It possibly. Yeah, theor it theoretically, yeah. 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 Pardon me. If the earth was a globe, if you yeah. throw something, yeah, it will fall on a different position, considering that the earth is moving at a very, very fast speed. Imagine if you throw no. something, you're here. No, let me let me hold on, hold it, hold on a second there. Let me show you something. If you are in a in a train, right? Yes. If you are in a train which is moving, and you have a yeah. tennis ball in your hand, you throw it up, it's gonna come back to your hand. Even if the train is moving at 160 kilometers per hour, the ball is not gonna stay behind. It's not. It's not the motion. The motion. Okay. The point is, you are. Hold on, hold on, hold on a second, hold on. The point is, that only works if you get off the train. While you're on the train, the train could be moving at 200 kilometers per hour. If you throw the ball up, it will still land in your hand. So no, that if you, if you throw the ball outside the train. No, 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 the not the out. You are inside the plane, inside the, the train. Why are you out? Because we are on the we are in the earth. Uh, we are on the earth. We are not going out. So, so the the, the whole point. What I'm trying to show you is that sign. Scientifically. <laughs> so, so hold on. Hold on, hold on. Like, 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 like what the lady just said. If I levitate, right? If I levitate, if the earth was a globe, I should not go back to the same position where I levitate from. Because the earth is moving at a very fast speed. No, it doesn't work like that. No, no, no. No, no. Let me. Nah, no, you won't. Let me explain again. Why if not? you are, hold on, listen. If you are in a train, right? Yes. It's moving at 200 kilometers per hour. And you throw a ball <clears throat> up and you catch it. Inside the train. No. It's, it will still come back to your hand. Have you ever been so on a I train? Tell me that if we are in a container. Because the, the, the thing that you're explaining is inertia. Okay, in train, wait, wait. Inertia. Wait, yeah. wait, no, the train is not in nature, it's moving. If you are, for example, if you're sitting, hold on, if you're sitting in a plane, in a plane, a plane is moving at a much faster speed, and you have a plate on the tray table and you're eating. According to your theory, the plate should move off because the plane is moving so fast. But that's not how it works. Let's think about the speed of the air. It doesn't matter. The thing is, as long as you are on, you are on the object. As long as you are on the object that is moving at whatever speed it is, it does not. Exactly. So your frame of reference is zero. Exactly. So the train is moving. So hold on. The only time, for example, if you're on a train, the only time you're gonna fall is if the the, the speed is disturbed. Let's say the train breaks a bit or it accelerates. That's the only. That's the only time. That's the only time you get to move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that. So let's think about it. Can you get this? This is my last point. I'll leave. Okay. No, no. Yeah, let him finish. Hold on. Let him finish. Mkulule, you don't disturb. The train is moving. Yeah. There is a wall adjacent to the train, opposite the train. There's what? The ball outside the train towards the wall. The ball hits the wall. Hold on. Another window. No, no, no. Re just repeat that again. You are in the train. In train. Uh -huh. The train is moving. Uh -huh. There's what? There's what? A outside. 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 Now yeah. you're talking about something totally different now. Well, listen, listen, listen. You I'm listening. What I'm asking, my okay. And, and the ball hits the wall. Yeah. Does the ball come back to exactly where you are, or it goes to the other windows behind you? Let me answer that. Once the ball goes outside of the train, that's a whole, it's no longer within 
the train. Hence, I, I said, the plane, when you are in a plane, the plane could be, how, do you know how fast the plane goes? When you are sitting on, on a, when you are in a plane, as, as long as there's no turbulence, you will never hear, see uh, your tray sliding off, uh, or your plane sliding off your tray, because the plane is flying at so many kilometers per hour. You know, the only time... It's in, in a container. You are in a, in a container. In a container. No, no, it, in a container. No, 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 it's but not a, it's No, no, it's not because it's in a container. That's not true. It's not because the earth is a It's not because you're in a container. Because if in, in the hold on, in the same container, if it if it accelerates, the plate will move. Or if it decelerates, the plate will move. That means your body, a body inside a moving body is moving at the same speed as the outside body. That is inertia. As I was saying, the reason why the ball comes back to you inside the plane is because of inertia. The ball is also moving at the same speed as the, the plane. As your body also. That's why when, when the plane breaks, you, you, your body keeps on moving. That same, the same yeah. thing applies on the, with the earth. It's not about, inertia has nothing to do with containers. It has nothing to do with containers. It's all about the constant speed. It's not whether it's a container or it's a. Oh, it's a with, uh, going along with gravity. That's why I do containers. No, no, it's it's, it's not about that. It's yeah, not I'm a. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I think I think I think my, I, 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 I've exhausted my. That's okay. one thing that was confusing me. I think yeah. Let, let me think about it clearly. All right. Let me tell you. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's observe something. To prove that the Earth is sphere, look at the moon when it's changing the shapes. That is, is a classic example just to show you that these objects that we are talking about, the sun, the Earth, and the moon, they're all sphere. Mm -hmm. Because for the, for the fact that the moon looks like a, what do you call that shape again? Sort of like an eclipse or something. I don't know what you call that size, uh, that shape. Okay, what I'm trying to say is, it's not a, yeah, like a banana type of shape. It just shows that because for that to happen, it's when the sun, the moon, and the earth. The moon is behind the earth. The earth is the center, and then the sun is sort of like in front. So when the moon is behind the earth. And then it's sort of like moving towards the sun. That's when you start seeing that banana type of a shape. That just shows you that all these three objects that you're talking about, they're all sphere. We can observe that every night when you look outside the sky. That's the, that's the, the point that you're making only, only proves that only proves that the sun is fake up, the moon is fake up. It does not prove that the earth is flat. Okay. Let me show you why then the earth can't be flat. Because if the earth is flat, mm -hmm. on the moon one day you're just going to see the light. And you don't see that light. How is that? Mm -hmm. Why would you not see it? Why? Okay, why don't you see a light on the moon? You only see that shape which is the form of sphere. So what, what is distracting this that they ask from seeing the full moon? What is that thing? Because for that, for us to have a half moon, for us to have a half moon, there should be something distracting there. Yeah, yeah just because. What is the reaction? Is the angle at which you see the moon? It's not the reaction. Yeah. It's the angle at which you see the moon. Exactly. The angle. Was, so the that is the end. Okay, okay, gentlemen, gentlemen, uh, order, please, uh, one at a time. Okay, Matunza, please come in. It's not in okay. What I was saying is that the, the, the shape of the moon is not the shape of the moon, it's the angle at which you see the moon. Exactly. Yes. It's not the shape of the moon, it's the angle at which the sun illuminates the moon from your angle. And exactly, and then in that way, Get to see as, yeah, you get to see that shape which is sort of like sphere that is being caused by all these three objects that we are talking about. They are in the same shape. When the flame is there, that's when now you're just going to see a line in that moon now because the other side is being illuminated by the sun, the other side is being set, and then the middle part is a line if you are seeing the edge flat. That's what I'm trying to say. All right. Uh,
So, all right. Uh, wait, I just wanted to quickly address, uh, pardon, what's the question? Or if they are not as close as we think they are. No, that they are as close as we think they are because of the perception we get because of the moon phases. All right. Um, okay. So, so for me, uh, okay. The main, I think we, the main question hasn't really been answered is the seasons. Uh, I think perhaps uh, Matipano. Ma if, uh, if if you maybe can come in, I know you're not a flat earther, but, but just to make okay, sense. Sorry, can I can I can I ask a question? Uh, to who? To you. Oh, all right. Now before you ask me, let me ask uh, uh, Matipano this question, and then you I'll I'll, yeah. I'll let you ask ask that question. Uh, I don't, okay. So okay. So the main question for me about the flat Earth theory. Is if the Earth is flat, then how is it that we in, in Egypt right now is 1752, in Johannesburg right now is 1752, but in Johannesburg it's summer, and in in Cairo it's winter. What happens? What happens to the sun? Because remember, why I say what happens to the sun? The flat Earthers say. The sun is the one that moves. The earth remains oh, yeah. still. So that uh, is... To be, on, to, be, to be honest, to be honest, mm. my only point that I had questioned regarding earth and globe was about the projector. I'm not really a flat earth, and I cannot support that. Oh, uh, if, uh, uh, evidence for that. oh you mean... Uh, so if, if, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get I get. My only, uh, my only, uh, my only was why projectiles act in that particular way. But regarding seasons, I think it's one of those things that also can help up, uh, prove that the Earth is a globe. Because if, uh, if we say the, flat, if the Earth is flat mm -hmm. and the Sun moves around the Earth, mm -hmm. the Sun has to be smaller than the Earth first. So if, if the sun is very, very small, that means it cannot illuminate the whole flat earth at the same time. Yeah. Because if, we, if the, flat, the, the earth was flat, it would illuminate the whole earth at the same time for the whole top. Exactly. So I, I cannot, I cannot really, I cannot really uh, argue for the flat earth on that particular point. Okay. Yeah, and the main problem with the flat earth is no one has given us the pattern that would make sense. The one person that had told me who actually sparked this whole debate, he said that the Earth moves from the Sun. The Earth is still the Sun moves from from east to west, and that doesn't then explain how it illuminates, um, how 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 you have um, the seasons. Because if it if it moves from left to right and it illum illuminates illuminates the whole part. Uh, of the northern and the and the and the and the of the north and the and the southern so-called hemisphere, it means even if it's flat, it means it's also thin, and it also wouldn't explain why it would be cold on the other side and and hot on the other side while illuminating, uh, giving it the same time zone. So, but uh, before we continue, uh, before I give, yeah, I'll. I'll let Philly in. I want. I have a question for her. She um, she gave us a, a an image. And unfortunately, most people won't be able to see yeah, it. I'll I'll just can read. Ask the question. No, no. Hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you, you. I did say I'd come to you. Okay. Ask me a question, then I'll go yeah. to Philly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No. Well, um, my guy. Uh, his name here, but it's shy, chase, something like that. Well, 
he was talking about being inside the train, drawing things up, and, also, and then you said you, you had to be outside the train for, for things to, you know. But we are outside the board. We are not inside the board. We are outside the board. Mm-hmm. You see? So we are not drawing things up inside the board. We are drawing things outside, outside the board. Okay. Mm-hmm. So my question is, if yeah. we are, as you say, all the flat earth images that I've seen, they've got a, a ball. A ball? Yeah, on top of the flat of the flat surface. And you specifically yeah, said, hold on, hold on, hold on, the dome, yeah. You specifically said that there is a wall and a dome that does not allow things to go outside of this dome. According to the flat earth, not you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So if you, according to your theory, uh, the, uh, there's a dome that covers the earth. We are, we are inside. Oh, you mean, oh, you mean according? according to my oh, yeah, according to your theory, and mm. and also so 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 being inside or outside. So yes, 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 what you need to understand. So if when you um. When you are, for example, you are uh, in a at the back of a baki, right? And the and the and the baki is moving, and you were to throw the tennis ball up, you'd have the wind, yes. the wind blowing it back, yes. right? Exactly. So the and what what causes so 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 what causes the wind in terms of the baki moving at a, at a certain speed? And you have so much wind. Uh, would that be the same for any any object moving at the same speed? That's the, also part of the question. Uh, now, can, can I can I can I can I just inter- interrupt there? Okay. When you're in a party and the party is moving, yeah. and you jump up, yeah, right, you will fall outside the party. Yeah, you fall, not because of wind. No, it's not because of wind. Even when there is no, wind. you fall outside the party. That's exactly what should happen when you throw something up. It, it shouldn't fall to this, exactly the same point. It yeah. should fall to another point. Relative no, if you, if you jump out of the bucky, you're going to fall off. No, uh, no, 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 if you jump up in the bucky. No. Yeah, no. You're sitting in the bucky, you jump up. You jump you up. Yeah. No, you won't fall you won't fall outside the bucky. You will fall outside the bucky. Outside the bucky, at the back of the bucky. Yeah, That's exactly what happens. <laughs> nah, okay, but anyway, nah, I don't think so. But there's a concept that I've actually tried. I've actually tried this. You've actually tried. How high did you jump? Yeah, the, the jumping, I and mean, we fell out with some friends of mine back oh. in high school. All we right. weren't trying it based on you know, some experiment, we're just being stupid. <laughs> yeah. You follow. You follow. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. Now, actually, we are outside the ball. Yeah. If we jump, <laughs> we should suddenly get somewhere else. Yeah, we should get yeah. somewhere else. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. My point. So we are outside it. the ball. We are outside the ball. Mm. Okay. So, so, but the question, so the question is, why, 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 why is it that you're saying? Um, when you throw the ball up and you're inside the train, you said that the ball would fall, would land somewhere else. No, 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 no. Uh, I think you're getting it wrong. I, I didn't use the example of throwing a ball inside the train. I think you were explaining that point. I said when you throw a projectile 90 degrees up, mm. right, yeah. the projectile most likely is going to come back to your to the position that you are at. Have you... Have if, you if it's 90 degrees... That's even mm-hmm. if you throw those things up in the air, it will come back to you. That proves that the headwind, 20 miles, 5 miles, it proves that, uh, yeah. It, be of feet. it proves that the air, that, at that point, it proves that the air is flat and not moving. Because the air, if, if you say it's a globe, the, the, the air will be moving at 1,000, is 1,000 miles per hour. Mm-hmm. 1,000 miles per hour, if you throw something up and using gravity, the speed of gravity, which is 10 meters, 10 meters per second, that means that thing is not going to fall at the same position because the air is moving at 1,000 miles per hour. 
Yeah, but uh, if you if, if you do that inside, if you're sitting inside a plane and you do that, why does it fall in your in your hand if you throw it up? A plane is not moving at a plane is not moving at one thousand miles an hour. Doesn't matter. The, the the magnitude of a theory doesn't change from no, no, no. whatever that, speed. When, no, wait. That, that, that magnitude speed magnitude doesn't change a a principle. So it doesn't matter if what speed you. You can move from the smallest speed to the to whatever speed. If a principle uh, works, it will work whether it's moving at a high speed or low speed. But anyway, let's. I uh, just wanna. I just wanna go to Philly uh, with this question. Um, she posted something about the seasons, and according to her glow, she's got three lines. So the yellow line is the circle in the innermost circle. You have uh, then the second circle that follows the innermost circle and then the third circle. So the inner circle is according to her summer, uh, northern hemisphere. And then uh, winter uh, or oh, spring, spring, spring would then be in the middle and then winter Winter Northern Hemisphere as well. Okay, okay, maybe she can explain. So uh, she must just explain to us the pattern of the sun. It looks like it's circular here. Uh, don't don't ask me questions like that. Uh, uh, he doesn't know anything. Don't stop <laughs> asking for calculations and statistics and then whatnot. Philly really doesn't know. Philly really shared that because you guys were talking about it, and and it is somewhat answered the questions that you were asking. So don't ask. Me. Uh, no mathematician, no scientist, nothing. Uh, okay. Maybe he's just fascinated by his topic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, cool. All right, uh, who, who wants to who wants to uh, tackle it? So basically, but I don't know if. Question, I'll hear you anyway. Pardon? Question, oh, I'll oh, you've got a, oh, you've got a question for me. Okay, cool. No, no, no I'm saying ask your question and then I'll hear you as best as I can. All right, okay, cool. No, no, no. I wanted to, I wanted you to explain the pattern of the sun where so this is a flat earth the pattern of the sun uh in the is it circular this picture looks like the the sun is moving in a circular motion and this is why it gives us the season the innermost circle is within i don't know it looks like with the northern yeah please explain because you have the inner circle which is supposed to be summer and then the middle circle would be spring, and then the outer circle would be winter. But when we look at, in reality, that is not what we have. We don't have winter in the center of the earth, and all, all seasons happening at the, at the, at the inner part of the, of the earth. Seasons are separated between north and south. Like Egypt is winter now. I'm getting another yeah. diagram for you that might answer what you're asking me about. Give me just okay. a minute or so. I'm trying to. There's, there's a short uh, video, like a, a, a GIF. And All right. I'll show you just now. Give me a okay, cool. Ladies and gentlemen, the discussion is the flat earth. How do we make sense of the seasons if the earth is flat? How on earth is it that right now in South Africa, in Johannesburg, it's 18.04 p.m. And in the northern, in, in Cairo, it's also 18.04 p.m. Yet in Cairo, it's winter. And in Johannesburg, it's summer. So, how do we make sense of that from a flat Earth perspective? That is my question. Tabizo. Okay. We have Tabizo here, yeah, the, the, the astronomer. This guy should have been here in the beginning of the show. So, brother man, uh, talk to us. While we yeah, wait for yeah. Philly uh, to share uh, that image uh, she's talking about, yeah. 
right. Yes, no, sir. No, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Apologies. I, I saw this notification very late, man. Yeah, I'm not stressed. I'm on Twitter, but uh, can I just make a few comments? Um, uh -huh. Which I don't know if the police have already addressed it, but I, I just need to make the listeners aware of a few things. The first thing, um, I mean, if you look at all the planets in our solar system, mm. um, all of them, yeah. they are straight up. Yep. Right? Yep. It will be so convenient that only at this planet, everybody <laughs> else around us <laughs> is very calm, just ACG, you know, we decide to be flat. But nonetheless, no yeah. problem. Yeah. People are entitled to, to, to that. But another thing, I also want to make the colleagues away. You can, in real time, go to the NASA website, for instance, or you can go to, I've got the app, you can even go to ESA, the European Space Agency, you can go to JAXA, the Japanese uh, Space Agency, you can go to SENSA, the Chinese Space Agency. In fact, the Chinese have just also just built an international space station themselves. And you can see it in real time, it's majestic. Spherical form in real on, time. On a curved lens, on a curved lens, uh, the lenses of the cameras they are using are curved. All right. Okay. okay, hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on, guys. So hold on. Let Tadiso. Hold on, Tadiso. Uh, let let. I mean, uh, Philly and uh, and do we have a president? Let Tadiso finish. Yeah. Let me. Thank you. Thank you. Shane. Sure. Okay. Um. So that's that's that, that, that's another thing, but. Uh, I'll come back to the point. Another um, exercise which has been repeatedly done to, and this is why I, I hardly ever get into that debate because I thought it was so obvious, but there's obviously, you know, common sense as they say it's not common to everyone. Uh, you, if you say you are in an ocean or you are in a sea and you are looking at somebody in a 